Grab a jacket. The classic school fire drill asks kids to go outside, but these kids are told to go inside. Go to the stair tower and proceed up the stairs. And up. Right hand on the rail. This drill is all about getting to higher ground, out of the reach of giant tsunami waves. The kind of waves that struck Japan in their last big tsunami in 2011, which killed 15,000 people. Costa Elementary students, you're doing a fantastic job. We're just miles away from a reminder of our last giant earthquake and tsunami. The quake that caused the Washington State coast to drop more than six feet, killing trees which still stand nearly 320 years later as a ghost forest. We are now considered in the window for the next one. So what was that January day like in the year 1700? Well, it didn't just affect us here in the Pacific Northwest, it affected the Pacific Rim. And in this scientific simulation of what that day may have looked like, you can see the wave propagating down past California, even touching South America. But what was really noted is what it did to coastal villages in Japan. But here's the thing. So far, this school is the only tsunami evacuation structure in North America. But it's about to be joined by a second one. We're out, uh, down by Tokeland. Uh, this is the, out on the peninsula here. Dave Norman is the state geologist. In 2018, the Department of Natural Resources simulated quake waves going into the ground. Could the sandy soil of this peninsula support this, a tower with platforms well in the air? They concluded there is soil strength here, but strong soil may not exist everywhere. And this site will become only the second vertical evacuation tower in North America. Communities have options. The Acosta School, 20 miles to the north, incorporated a strong, tall evacuation structure into a working building. In other words, it's dual use. Basically, you have your four stair towers and you have your, your beams that go across, which is your tsunami structure. Complete with breakaway walls to allow the waves to flow through the first floor. The tower on the tiny Shoalwater Bay Indian Reservation will be exclusively for evacuation and hold 600 people. But our people deserve to be safe. They deserve to have hope. And that's what we want to show them and have them feel is that they can get to safety. Lee Shipman is an elder and heads the tribe's emergency management agency. She's next to tribal police chief Jim Bergstrom. And if it's an earthquake and the roads are disrupted, you can't drive, you're gonna have to be able to walk. And that's what the plan is here, put this tower in place uh, with the idea that someone can walk to it within 15 minutes. The tower should be complete by next October and stand alongside an emergency siren already here to warn of tsunamis. Tribal lore recounts the stories of ancestors who lived through the last great quake, and science tells us it will not be the last.